Philly Frank. Alright, man, so we got Ray Leon in the building, man. <laughs> What's going on, man? Sure, yeah, man, a lot of people know you, you know, from your affiliation with OBH, you know what I mean? Those that might know, you know what I mean? You know, I follow Ed on the gram, and I seen you post pictures with you for the longest, you know what I mean? Word. So, let, let first explain, like, how, what's your relationship with Ed? How you know him? How you come to be affiliated with him and all that? I mean, me and Ed is just, like, from the same hood, not only that, like, we just from the same gene, you know what I'm saying? Just like, I knew Ed, like, I knew Leek first. Before I met Ed, I, I met, you know, Leek Moss. It's just like, my childhood friend, my brother, we came up since little boys, man, you know what I'm saying? Just bad little youngins tripping in the hood and all that. But, you know, I, I they just like family, you know what I'm saying? They, my hood right here, their hood right there. So it's just like, yeah, like, and they was like, one of us just like, real connected when we was little, man. We just like had our whole thing since then. You know what I mean? So yeah, we just recently <clears throat> talking off camera, you basically explained to me like the whole positive movement that you got going on, stuff you trying to get done for the kids and all that. And you said you basically came up with that idea when you was locked up in the feds and all that. So yeah. give me give me that spill first, like <clears throat> Your experience going through that situation, you know, them that whole run down and, you know, um, transitioning from there back home and doing the stuff that you're trying to do now. Nah. No, like, real rap, no cut, man. It's just like, you know, growing up, man, like, I lived in a rough neighborhood. Like, it's just like, it was rough, you know, when coming up. So it's just like, I ain't no right from wrong. I'm just watching my old heads, you know, they doing them on the ass, and I'm just like, that was my vision, you know? It's like, that's decent. It's just like the old heads, you know? I ain't had no dad. Ain't none of my friends really, you know, Ab and Leek got their dad, but it's like, we was our own, like, dads. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Big homies, our own big homies, and all that. So it's just like, you know, just from the streets. I learned, you know, I went through some, I went through some things. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? I did, did some bids, you know? Me and Leek Moss, then they're like, you know, my first real case is like attempted murder, me and Leek Moss. And you know, that's when I was young. I was just young, I was just like, all right, yeah, we doing like, what we doing out here, we tripping. It's like, I thought it was cool, real rap. I thought, I thought it was like, that was it. I'd be a gangster, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, I thought that was the way. But, you know, as I, you know, went through what I went through, you know, I got older. I got, you know, got older. Start getting wiser, start, your eyes start open. The bids open up your eyes. When you don't, if you don't die and you just happen to do a bid, sometimes you gotta take it as a blessing because it opens up your eyes sometimes. I mean, it, open, it opened up, I can't speak for everybody. I wanna speak for me, it opened up my eyes. You see what I'm saying? It made me like, damn, what you gonna do? You gonna do this all your life? You gonna, or you gonna wisen up? Or you, you know I mean, you gonna wisen up? You know, I'm just, you know, when you in jail, you talk to yourself. You got time, you know what I'm saying? So you just getting to know yourself better. It's just like, damn, I'm really somebody. I feel like I'm really somebody inside. That's just how I always felt. It's just like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know, with that being said, I came out, I got, you know, the law blessed me. I beat the attempted murder. You see what I'm saying? And I came out, but I was still, you know, that's what I think, you know, my shit went crazy at because when I beat the attempt, that's when I really came home and I was just like, really just going out there. I was out there just tripping out, man. You know what I'm saying? So I got hit again, like probably like two years after that. I was out, you know, they say, you go, you know, the, the the rate of going back to prison back then is just like six months, you back in jail. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it was crazy, but it was real, you know what I'm saying? But I was out for two years. See what I'm saying? Got locked up. <clears throat> beat my case again. But you know what? I didn't beat my case, because I got, the, as soon as I beat my case, I went back to the county, thinking I'm about to pack up, ship out the feds, come right there, boom. What's going on? What you doing? What's going on? No, real rap. It's like, I'm a young nigga. Still young. Still young boy. I'm only 32 now. So this is like, really happened like, you know, recently. Damn it. So it's like, 
What happened though now? I'm in the feds all of a sudden, boom. They indict me on <laughs> just me on a motherfucking petty ass case, nut shit. But you know, I beat the joint in the state. I'm thinking I'm going home. Fed Shack will be back, boom. I'm going to the feds. Oh man, that's a whole different joint. Now you just, whole time, ever since the young wolf, I hold my rope, man, meaning I stand what I do. Like, far as like, if I do something and the consequences happen back then, it's just like, I'm gonna stand on it. So when the feds, I, I got it in my mind already. 100 niggas telling me, yo, niggas gonna jump on your case down there, don't talk to nobody. It's like, bro, you ain't gotta tell me none of that. And I ain't being, I ain't being tough. And that's how I felt back then. I ain't being tough, nigga. Now I'm a stand up dude, period. You see what I'm saying? So I'm down there. It's really real though. It's a million, a lot of people that's just ratting, telling. It's just like bad. They like, I gotta get home to my family. It's just like, I'm going. You know, it's just like crazy. So I'm in the mix. It's just like, I get with a certain amount of people that's right and we know who right from that paperwork like I'm just talking about paperwork and who is you from the street who you know you know what I'm saying you talking about you from North Philly and all that you know what I mean it's like all right cool now it's like I get I get in the feds the real story is they like really on some shit they raping niggas down there like on some time wise as far as like you tell or you get this hundred years whatever and they really on some shit like that. But the whole time I'm just like, man, listen, they pull me from the rip. You tell what you know, you going home, period. You ain't got no fucking case. We just wonder, we, you know you from Area Avenue, we know what's going on. They make me a whole, somebody I'm not doing that joint. Whole time I'm just like, fuck it, this is what it is, man. I don't want no, I'm not, I'm not going across the street. I ain't doing none of that. I ain't talking to no feds, you know, Holla. And I tell my lawyer this. My lawyer tell me, listen, if you know like I know, you better go down there. I'm like, damn, what the? The lawyer tell me this. You see what I'm saying? So the lawyer trying to encourage That's how real the feds is, man. The, the feds is the real fucking gangsters, man. Breaking niggas, man. I'm seeing it. I seen the feds. Look, nigga, nigga got the paperwork. Nigga, stand up, nigga. You thought you was, nigga, nigga got the Trash can right next to him, he tell what he know, he throw up, throw up everything, you know what I'm saying? Break the niggas, man. Taking your manhood, that's what I mean when they rape you, man. You know what I'm saying? But I'm in the mix, I'm caught up. They, you know, they coming at me, I'm it, I'm in the seat, it's like, yeah, what's going on? It's like, nigga, I don't know nothing, period. I'm a wild young nigga. Just like, I'm just like, fuck it, I, and I'm mad, because I beat my case, remember that. I beat my case, and y'all just grabbed me. Stripped my life right away from me again. So I'm sick, it's like, get the fuck away from me and all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they, you know, it is what it is. I'm in my bed now. Now it's like, I take the deal. Damn it, seven years, eight years. Crack law kicked in, that's how I come home. On like, you know, six and a half. I take that, but the, while I'm in here, it's just like, Shit just real. You thinking about your family, you missing your family, you missing everybody. You done lost your chick. All chicks that you swore you had is like, it's over. That shit dead. Like, she gone. You in the fed. You ain't even in the state, nigga. You ain't in CFCF, nigga. You up. Man, I'm gone. That's how they do you. Yeah. So, I'm just up there. I'm doing my bed. You know, coming home. I'm working out every day. I'm, you know, best shape in my fucking life. You know, type shit. Yeah. But it's just like, I'm like, cause you got people in there, you got rat, rat and ass young boy your age, so you don't want to really bang with nobody. Everybody telling, when you get to your jail, it's really like a headache. So you, I just chose to stay to myself. Got my GED up there, you see what I'm saying? And I got with like older heads, you see what I'm saying? That's just like, course stand up men, you see what I'm saying? Put me on game, you know? And I'm just like, took it from there. It's just like, what you gonna do with your life? That's what I asked myself. And I told myself, man, I gotta do something. It's like, I gotta wake up. Cause it's either dead or come back here forever. I'm just trying to live. So I, boom, did the time. I had a, I had a black and, I still got a black and white handbook. I wrote down everything in it. My plans, what I'm gonna do. 
But in the feds, I got all the game. Like far as like, old heads up there, you know, they got a lot of time. So they just giving you the game. Yo, man, listen, this is what you gotta do. I used to think, I'm like, oh yeah, like, damn, you ain't got, no, you don't got a bank account out there? I'm like, man, I ain't no fucking bank. I had bank, bank rolls, you know, shoe box. I thought that shit was through. You know, you're like, damn, young, you gotta get a bank account. You see what I'm saying? I started taking financial literacy classes up there. You know what I'm saying? Just doing shit with my time. That's the re that's the route I chose to, I chose to take when I was up there. You know what I'm saying? That's what I did. And I came home, I was way better this time. I was a man first. I chose to be a man than the wild little young. That's what you gotta do sometimes. You gotta choose. You know what I'm saying? I chose to be a man first. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go out here with my head right and I'm gonna figure out some plans and I'm gonna make some stuff happen. And that's what I did. You see what I'm saying? And the positive image, the whole thing, how the positive image came about, it was one of my plans. I said, that's gonna be my give back. From what I, like, how I terrorized the hood. Man, I terrorized the hood bad, man. Nobody can say I did, you know what I'm saying, in my hood. And I wasn't even no bully. I was just like, we was just young, wild little dudes, man. Just like, awesome. Can't nobody tell us nothing. And ain't nobody do nothing to us. So we holding our drum, and we holding our rope, man. We holding on to our rope, and we just like, just so having this is like, I mean, thank God we ain't pop up there like a couple niggas, a couple of my niggas died, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, animal, man. You know what I mean? You already know, like, but it's like, we here, we here, and I mean, that's how that, like, when I was, when I, when I got home, I had my plans, and I had, and I, like, just put them in action. I ain't wait. I ain't say, damn, I'm coming home and I just get right back in the mix and do everything everybody else doing. No. I said, that's how I got, like, damn, last time. Gotta do something different. And that just wasn't my whole thing. No, that was just was my give back, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna give back. See what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And recently, on that note, recently, y'all just did a, um, a clothing drive, giving back clothes to the, you know, the community, basically. Um, so tell them a little bit about that that um, situation and other things y'all trying to do with that. Yeah, the whole thing for the clothing drive was, you know, basically to uh, let the people know, you know, we coming out. This is like, this is what we doing. And this time, like the first time I did it, the first summer, I did it by myself out the trunk. And the people just was loving it coming from me. And they, that's I think that's why they really liked it. Cause it's like him doing it, knowing like who he was and who he matured to be. It's like a lot of people supported it. And not just the reason why I liked it, because the positive people supported it the most. Like, and it's, it, it, you know how some people might come out, you got the shirts, it's like, but it's just art, just the hood, young boy gonna buy this. It's like, that's it. It's like, no, people downtown was buying it, then they was just like, Loving it, he's like, yo, keep pushing the movement, man. Maybe you could do something, do a lot of other things for the community. And, I, and I'm with it because, like, I feel as though the world won't be ever be better if we don't have, like, if more leaders don't step up. You see what I'm saying? Leaders, the leaders gotta step up. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what it is, though. It's like positive image, save the baby, stop senseless killing is we big on senseless killing. You see what I'm saying? Senseless is the key in that. You see what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, that's like, to me, that's a major drone in our city. It's a lot of senseless drones. Why? Why? I might step on your butter. You just with your niggas, but I'm by myself with my wife. It's like, you want to kill me because you with your niggas when we could have just like, Damn, my fault, folk. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. What's wrong? You know? But it ain't like that no more. It's just like, no, I think you step on my boot, I'm gonna blow your head off. Wow. So that's what we against. That's what I'm against. And that's what, you know, people around me, my homies, you know, we against senseless killing. We don't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? You what? A whole lot of other things I can go into just senseless. A lot of stuff, just like you might. This is this couple. He just killed the chick because ain't no telling. It's senseless. You see what I'm saying? So that's what we big on. And we did the clothes drive. 
you know, just to let the people know we here and like, you know, cause this is the shield. This is the shield for the kids. It's a shield. And I say it's a shield because it teaches them. In positive image, we plan on if everything go right, how I need it to go, in which I need the people behind us. Like I plan on getting the programs for the kids. And what I'm saying by program, cause I feel as though it starts with guidance. Like with the kids, they they just look and want to do the same thing you doing. So I feel as though if I'm doing something like this and I'm letting them know this time around, let's do the clothes drive and let the people know we're here. Then y'all want to sell the shirts. I'm just want to be behind the movement. Let the kids know we're with y'all. The ones y'all look up to, because a lot of people, you know, especially in my hood, my little drone, they look up to me. I like I'm really surprised by it, but it's just like, you know, people happen to love me, man. They look up to me. So it's just that's what we bring in. Positive image, say the baby, stop senseless killing. And let me speak a little bit more on the programs. Cause I need y'all. We gotta come through and get this thing together. Y'all gotta help me because this is this is my give back. The programs is like we're gonna help the kids learn how to do resumes. You see what I'm saying? Learn how to talk without cursing. I'll be still trying to do that. You see what I'm saying? But if you teach the kids how to do that, maybe like they can just grow up and they gonna thank you at least later. Cause they gonna be like on the right path. Well, at least that's what we try to set them to. Make them do. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so the programs is like, you know, resumes, you gonna, uh, you gonna do a lot. You gonna learn how to get your bank account. You gonna get a bank account. You see what I'm saying? If you old enough, you probably one of our older kids, you might be 15, 16, 17. We gonna teach you how to like about secure credit cards. We gonna teach you about everything we know that we learned, that we still learning as the men, the people of the program, we gonna drop it on the kids, man. If you wrong, you out of pocket, you will. We like the bad kids too in our program because we wanna show them. And, and if they get right, they gonna teach a lot of the kids that's looking up to them how to get right and what's really going on. And don't just be knuckleheads, man. Get you a job or something. You work for Positive Image. You sell your t-shirt. You make your own money. Until you, you know, it's going to be a program. It's probably be like a couple, like three months. And you out the program because you got your own job now. You we, we, want you, we don't want you to get a job, though. We want you to get a business. We want you to own stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's try to see how we can get you a business. Because this, I started with this with nothing. I got the, I got my, um... I had a big bro in the feds. He told me, my man, you know, he uh incorporate, you know, James Brown. Shout out to my boy. Shout out to my man. I mean, too, He's good dudes. It's like, yeah, get you a corporation. Get a corporation. Man. I said, how you do that? You got have like millions. No, man, it's easy. You see what I'm saying? But it's stuff we don't know that we can learn. And our program that I said I'm trying to, I need y'all help with, the world help I'm talking about. Not no little bit of people, I need the world. It's like help us, like help us get the programs for the people. And again, you might look at us like, oh no, they gangsters. No, but look what they doing. You know what I'm saying? Look at look, look what I can do and what you can do. And that it helps, you know what I'm saying? When we all come together as people. You know what I'm saying? Right. And knowing that, you no, know, yeah, I want you to speak a little bit more on that, you know, because OBH, your affiliation with them, you know, they got serious stigma. Throughout and, and people's minds, and you know, yeah. so you like really, really want people to understand like it's not all about that. Like y'all really be out here in the streets trying no. to do positive things in the community. So speak. Yeah, they put the mud on OVH. You know, they do that. You know what I'm saying? They do that. Why? Because they only see like what we let them see, man. But deep down inside, it's a lot of brothers in our regime, our whole thing. We got good hearts, man. Like it's some good dudes. Yeah, hey, the top goon. This dude is a genius, man. Like, he got a good heart, and he take care of a lot of men. For as y'all might just see the, like, you know, whatever he promoting, you know what I'm saying? As a rapper, you know what I'm saying? That's what we do. But as a man, like, that boy is, like, one of my mentors, you know what I'm saying? He teach me how to, like, you know, I mean, get a lot of money, that's cool, but, you know, but seriously, just tell me, like, damn, you should do this, or maybe we should do this, or maybe we should put a lot of money together, get some, uh, get get this type of loan. I ain't gonna put our business out there, but you already know. 
You know what I'm saying? Buy some houses, put it together. You already know. Like he a good dude, man. So, but my whole thing is, the people look at us as just like all for bad. So this is like, this is why we bringing y'all one of our situations just to show y'all what we doing. We get back. We don't do it for the gram all the time. Hey, I ain't do none of the clothes drive for the gram. It's just I showed a couple snippets, but it's just I ain't do that for the gram. I ain't let the people know I was doing that. You know what I'm saying? Just got up, gave away everything. People coming good always. JD gave away Louis Vuittons, Prada sneaks. You see what I'm saying? Just gave it away on the strength. He loved me. And young this what you're doing? Oh, all right, this what I'm doing. You know what I mean? People follow, it's just like people look at, you know, if you real, people gonna respect it, man. Period, bottom line, man. And that's where we at with, but let me get back with the OBX thing, yeah. Know that, man. Like, we ain't all for bad, man. Know that. We like good dudes. We just, men of respect. Just, that's, that's the thing. That's the thing. That's a good drawing, too. OBH, like, we're, I mean, damn, I can't even say, like, some of us are bullies, you know, but, you know, none of us are perfect. You know what I'm saying? If we is perfect, we wouldn't need a law for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, it's just like, let us live a little, man. Like, you know. We a tighten up show or something, you know what I'm saying? We we a follow up, you know what I mean? But it's just like, we ain't all for bad, man. Some dudes is good dudes, and dudes is leaders. Me as a leader, this is what I wanna get y'all. You know what I'm saying? Positive image, the kids is gonna be pushing it all summer. I got my own car wash, I'm trying to get a better location as we speak. The kids worked that, they worked that last summer, they made a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? City shut me down. Why? Wow. It's like, I was a hundred kids out here. I don't got no, no, there's no drugs on this block, right? There's no, no drugs being sold on this block, 15th Street. You know what I'm saying? I, it, I, I turned it into a family block, man. I said no drugs being sold, man. If you a hustler, you can't even sell drugs out here. You know what I'm saying? But the city shut me down. But, you know, they can't, I don't think they can shut that down. That's like really incorporated. You know what I'm saying? And I'm bringing it to the people. And it's for the kids, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Now, mind you, I mean, for this for the people, like, we ain't planning to do this interview. I mean, this wasn't planned. No, I mean, you got you me, just, man. You, you got just me with this, No, nah, you, really, you just was talking to me. I ain't, and I like, said, never did no interview. Right, and I was like, Benz, though, you, the way you was talking, I said, you know what, man, let's just do a little interview, let you share a little bit of your story, and let you share what you was talking about as far as the clothing driving, what you trying to do. Now, I really wanted the people to hear what you had to say. You know, I'm here for the world, man, for the people, whatever I can do, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for the people. Yeah, I'm just like not one of them, just like big live, you know, heavy on the nine problem because, you know, I, I'm from the streets, you see what I'm saying? But this is just like how I feel, you know, inside I got a good heart too. You see what I'm saying? And this is what I'm doing. 